Welcome back to Rural Sports Talk. I'm Chris, your favorite stat reader, and we have the Islanders hosting the Devils, and the Devils are minus 148 on the money line. The Islanders are plus 124. The over-under is six goals. The Devils laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 170, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two goals or more. And the Islanders getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 205, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose by one goal, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow. It's supposed to be Mark Schmidt net for the Devils and Sorokin in net for the Islanders, but neither goaltender has been confirmed yet. Head-to-head, the Islanders are on a two-game winning streak. The Islanders are 6-4 and four against the Devils in their last 10. The road team's won the last three. The road team is 7-3. and three. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line, while the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 9-1. and one. There have been five one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including the game they played against each other earlier this season. The over is 5-4-1, and one, and the over 6 is 5-4-1. and one. They played on October 25th, and the Islanders beat the Devils 4-3 in overtime in New Jersey. The Devils are 4-1 and one in their last five. Six goals, three goals, three goals, eight goals. Six goals and a win, shut out and a loss, three goals and a win, five goals and a win. The Islanders are 3-1 and one in their last four. Seven goals, seven goals, seven goals, six goals. Four goals in a win, two goals and a loss, four goals in a shootout win, and then four goals in a win. Devils with the money line, Islanders getting the goals. I'm going to go over the way that both of these teams are scoring. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.